Good morning. Happy April 17th. It is so hard for me to believe that it's already April 17th and we haven't been back in our classroom in over a month. So I'm trying to make the best of it. I hope you are too. I love all the pictures I see. I love all the activities, all the baby chicks that are going on adventures. It's so fun to see all of you. So I miss you and I hope you're ready for a great Friday library day. This is my friend Beagle here. You probably never met him, but he was going to come to our classroom. And he has a great story about an unimaginary friend. Hmm. Think about if you've ever had an imaginary friend and how that's made you feel when he reads our story with us. Enjoy. The Adventures of Beagle, the Unimaginary Friend by Dan Santet. I love some of the pictures in this book. The Adventures of Beagle, the Unimaginary Friend. He was born on an island far away where imaginary friends were created. Here, there, they lived and played, each eagerly waiting to be imagined by a real child. What do you think the word, think about what eagerly might mean when it's used and it says, each eagerly waiting. Hmm. Turn to someone around you and think about if you can think of what the word eagerly might mean. I'll give you a few seconds. Well, if you couldn't think of something that meant eagerly, or maybe you'll find out that you made a connection and said the same thing, Eagerly means like you really want it, you patiently wait for it, but you're just really, really eager to have it. You're really, really wanting it to happen. You just can't wait for it to happen. Every night he stood under the stars, hoping for his turn to be picked by a child and given a special name. But his turn never came. His mind filled with thoughts of all the amazing things that were keeping his friend from imagining him. So rather than waiting, uh -oh. He did the unimaginable. He sailed through unknown waters and faced many scary things, but thinking about his friend gave him just the courage to journey on. until he reached the real world. The real world was a strange place. No kids were eating cake. No one stopped to hear the music and everyone needed nap time. Then he finally saw something familiar. Hmm, that's another good word to think about. Familiar. He turned and saw something familiar. What does it mean if I'm said, I know that I'm very familiar with that food, or I'm very familiar with that book? Hmm, think about it for a second. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Raise your hand if you thought you knew what the word 
unfamiliar or familiar would mean? I bet quite a few of you have your hand up right now. Familiar means you know it. You're you're familiar with it. You know something. You've you've seen it. You've touched it. You've tasted it. It's nothing new to you. So if something is familiar, you're probably not worried about trying the new item. So he followed. So he's feeling familiar. So he's going to follow, of course. He feels comfortable. I love this page. He had a good feeling about this place. We've got slides. We've got a submarine. And he could not find his friend. But he looked everywhere. He climbed to the top of the tree and looked out, wishing and hoping his friend would come. But no one came. He thought about how far he'd come and how long he'd waited and felt very sad. Then he heard a noise below. Hello? So this word doesn't have any, this page doesn't have any words. Think about what you think's going on in this picture. After he heard the hello, they see a little child reaching for Beagle with something in their hand. It was a little girl. Her face was friendly and familiar. And there was something about her that just felt right. At first, they weren't sure what to do. Look at all the pictures of what they do. Lots and lots of pictures. Neither of them had made a friend before. But after a little while, they realized they were perfect together. And we have those little conversation bubbles. With a question mark, like he's wondering what she's thinking. Beeko! I'm Beeko! Hi, Beeko! Beeko and Alice had many adventures. Look at her awesome journal drawing. They shared their snacks. They told funny jokes. They drew each other. So think about what you do with your friends or what maybe we did in the classroom that made you feel good. The world began to feel a lot less strange. And together, they did the unimaginable. I hope you enjoyed my story today. Biko is really a great story just about sometimes we can be feeling down, we can be feeling like maybe we don't have a friend right now with us back at home when we're learning. But I assure you, that means I know that each and every one of you are having an excellent time, spending time with family, making the best of the situation. So I miss all of you, and I love, love, love seeing the pictures. This weekend, I'm working on another round of mail for my mailman to take out. And I would hope that all of you enjoy checking your mailboxes and seeing if you can be my pen pal back. So have a great Friday and a great weekend.